Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna help you understand the basic concepts of Euler's method and how do we do the same on Casio FX CG50. So uh, firstly, understand what, what kind of question is assessed in IB method. Yeah? So the first one is draw, um, find, uh, use, so they, they're gonna give you a differential equation. So they're, they're, the differential equation is something like this, 4x squared plus y squared minus xy over x squared. And they're gonna specify the initial boundary condition. Now what we are gonna do is, we are gonna use a, a specific formula that is given in your data booklet um, to find out the values of the y, value of y, when x is 1.4. And giving certain specific length of, step length of 0.1. So how do we do this? So now, as you can see, it's a recursive formula that we are using here the, uh, to get the new y value. We are using the old y values, old y values, I would say, old y values. And h here is the step length, as we can clearly see. And um, after this, we have the derivative formula. Here we are gonna input the x, old x and y values to get the uh, the derivative. So what I what I want to show you is how firstly do we do one sample calculation for the same using um, the manual approach. So first, let's say if I have y n plus one. Um, so I would say that initial value is y not x not. Okay. So y not x not if you see is y not is two and x not is one. So y naught is two and x naught is one. Now, first and most important thing, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna find out the derivative at x equals to zero, uh, x equals to one and y equals to two. So you input these values out here in the, in the derivative function so that you can have this derivative. Okay, so now when I wanna find out that, let's say y one will be y naught plus uh, point 0.1 times the derivative value. So the derivative value you can easily get by plugging x is 1 and y is 2 in this first def derivative expression. Now by doing so, we get a table like this. So now for example, we get x is 1. You can see that the initial y value is 2. When x is 1, y value is 2. At x and y value, it is the derivative is 6. So what I do is that to get y1, my, I'm gonna plug the value y naught, which is two plus h times, which is 0.1 times the six, so which is 2.6. Now, this is the y value when x is 1.1. So at x equals to 1.1, your y is 2.6. So, so we got this value. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these as the next set of x and y values to get the expression. So I'm gonna find out the dy by dx at x equals to 1.1 um, and y equals to 2.6. And of course, if you, if you find the derivative at that point, it is gonna be 7.22. So the derivative is 7.22. So now, of course, once again, you're gonna put the value to get the y2, you're gonna put, let's say 2.6, plus 0 0.1 times 7.22, which is the derivative at the previous x and y values, which is nothing but you get 8.89652. So I hope you, you got the manual method how to do it. And of course you have to continue until you reach to 1.4 because that's your um, final objective. So now, as you can see, it's a it's little rigorous procedure. So what I'm gonna show you is, I'm gonna show you how to do the same on GDC. So um, firstly, where is it on GDC? Now, if you go under the recursion, like the recursion function is here. Now, well, generally when you log in, you're uh, logged into this feature of your calculator. You are gonna have this, at least all the values will be blank. So what I do is I'm gonna put the, uh, how my x is calculated. So I'm calculating my x by adding uh, the x value plus 0.1. So an represent the x value and bn represent the y value. 
Now to get the derivative, you can write, you can put the formula for C and that's all right. So here what we do is we put the formula exactly what we are doing. So point B n, that's previous y, plus 0 0.1 times um, the h value, that is nothing but, um, I'm gonna, it is gonna take a lot of time to put the value. So I'm just putting the, the differential equation, it is 4x squared, so it will be 4 an squared um, uh, plus uh, bn uh, squared, so plus bn squared um, minus uh, an into bn, so minus uh, an times bn uh, over um, an squared. So this is your derivative formula. And uh, for cn plus one, you can, if you want the derivative, you can put the exact derivative formula as well. So I'm putting, let's say, four an square uh, plus uh, y square is your um, bn square um, minus an times bn minus an times bn uh, or uh, an square. So this is your um, expression for derivative. So now what I do is after I execute this, um, I'm just going to go to set. My initial point is uh, zero, and I want to do at least four iterations to reach to 1.4. So end after four. A naught value, initial value, as you can see, is one. B naught initial value is two. You don't need to put any C naught value because it automatically will be calculated by the GDC. So when I press execute now after this, you can clearly see your values. The first table here that you can see is your y values. And of course, if you scroll down uh, till 1.4, that's your desired answer. These things that you see, these are the derivative values. These are the derivative values calculated um, uh, for, for each of the uh, given x values. So um, I can copy this table as, as you're working for the uh, exam. So your final answer that you can see is 1.4 um, at 1.4, it is 5.34, and um, your the derivative, uh, previous derivative that it, at which it calculated was 11.26. So that's how you do the Euler's method. Hope it helps.